I'm uh, Zach Sloan. I'm part of the Greenup County's Gotham Club. Uh, I'm here today. I got two uh, John Deere 1949As, identical, and I'll just tell you a little bit about both of them. Uh, a couple differences on both of them. So the first one here on to the left is a 1949A. It, uh, I had it completely down all the way to the bare frame and had it back together within a week. It uh, had a few carb issues and it actually has a big nut G carb on it I put on it and uh, got it going pretty good and it does pretty good. Sheet metal is a little rough on it as you can tell right there and but it ain't too bad. It doesn't have a roller matic front end unlike my other one over there. Uh, let's see. It's got 13.638 tires on it. It does have a three point hitch on it. Uh, and it does have a 90 over big bore kit in it. So it sounds pretty good. Uh, the one on your right here is the same thing as 1949A. Uh, it has a roller matic front end in it. Um, roller matic is when one tire hits a rock, one wheel will come up and the other one will go down. Unlike the other one, if you hit a rock or something, it'll just about break your hand when it goes to turn. Now this tractor, I got it back two years ago and it had uh, it had a little bit of a motor leak all the way around so before I painted it I took me and a buddy of mine we took it in the garage and I stripped the whole thing down and uh, took everything apart all the way back to the block inside the crank and everything and resealed the entire motor so it doesn't leak anything now thankfully and just back this uh, so this past uh, Oh, it's been right back in May. I was tore it down to paint it, and it turned out pretty good. Put new, uh, new seat on it, all new decals, chrome stack, new alternator, all new rubber gaskets and pipes. Uh, it's a pretty good deal. Got the carburetor rebuilt on it, new fuel bowl lines, etc. It does not have a three-point hitch on this one, and. Uh, Oh, and this tractor, the one to your left here, I actually got it on a uh, from a buddy that lives up in Palmer, Ohio, if anybody's interested in that. And uh, I actually went to Wisconsin to get 90% of the parts because this one didn't have a radiator or nothing when I got it. Fan shaft was busted, and I completely redone it. So it turned out pretty good. But that's all I got to say about them.